babies welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is shamika and this is cozy home by sham oh guys for my regulars that normally come back and watch my channel did you miss me oh i missed you guys i missed you guys so much i did not upload last week because i thought i would have been able to upload the powder room reveal on monday but oh let me tell you i encountered so many struggle and delays along the way that i just could not put it out on monday um the package that i was waiting on for the uh lights they did not come until i believe thursday they're about and then i have i had a whole host of other things to get done and install that just was a pain to say the least but you know with all of that aside i am so glad to be back in front of the camera for you guys and i'm especially excited to show you guys the powder room reveal and baby you want to stay tuned because this one is gonna be good okay so before we go any further let's recap exactly where i left off for part one of the video let's take a look at that i think what where we left off is uh that i painted the walls we installed the wood slats i changed the color of the door handle yeah i think that's exactly where we left off so let's do a quick recap how about it <laughs> Alright, so that's it for part one and exactly where we left off. Now let's jump into the rest of the changes for part two of this video. So what you're about to see is that I've installed some lights above the mirror. I've also added a few decorative items around the powder room that I'm super, super excited to show you guys. I've changed out the mat, you know, just a number of stuff. I've changed the faucet as well from silver to matte black that you're gonna love ah uh, let's get into the video guys let's go straight to it All right, guys. So just a slight problem here. It's a slight click up, you know. Um, so this is the new one, as you can see. The problem is uh, the seal here is actually smaller than what was here before, so it can't connect. So this is the previous one, so that is larger. So I have to run to the hardware and get um, the correct size. For this so that you can make the connection but you know simple thing simple thing simple thing so slight hiccup but we'll be hoping up and running again soon okay what are we thinking how's it looking 
Are you loving the transformation? Sound off below in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. Please comment. Make sure to give it a like. I know you're still watching. You haven't clicked like it. Like the video and make sure to comment. I want to hear what you guys think about the different stages of transition and the finished product, okay? So by now you would have seen the installation of the ceiling light and the changeover of the faucet in the bathroom. So now it's, I think it's time that we jump straight to installing the lights above the mirror in the bathroom. Let's go. Okay guys, so this was another cool find from Amazon. These are called wall sconces. They were $39.99, link is in the description. And I really had to scour Amazon for this one because the challenge I face is that I don't have any power source on the wall to get these hardwired. So I had to go and get something that was battery operated. But the cool thing, as you can see from under the bottom here, is that it has kind of like a dual function. So it allows you to have it hardwired if you have the power source. If not, you can choose to go with just putting batteries inside the light and screwing it inside the wall sconce. So it also comes with a remote control. It, each light comes with its own remote, but um, because it's the same remote, you can use one remote to con control all three. Also, it's $39.99 for the set of two. And because I wanted three, I had to buy as two sets of two, of course. All right, so let's get to showing you how the bulb works. So as you can see, I'm just uh, screwing off the bottom half of the bulb and putting in some batteries. And like I said, you can have it hardwired if you have the power source on your wall, but I don't. So I'm going with the battery operated part of the sconce. So I'm just putting in some batteries, then I'm going to close it and have it screwed back into the socket of the wall sconce. Earlier you saw me using a remote to control the light, but also as you can see here, you can also tap the bulb, the face of it, to turn it on and change the different light modes. So here I am just screwing it back into the socket. I was screaming inside just looking at it being done and I know I didn't show you the sneak peek of it all installed but stay till the end you're gonna see everything all together just one and done okay so enough of the installation talk let's get straight to taking a look at a few other items that I bought on Amazon for this bathroom makeover let's get straight to that so I hopped on Amazon for a nice bin for the powder room and I was super excited that I stumbled over this smart bin for only $27. As you can see there, I'm literally just hovering my hand over the sensor and it opens and soft close all on its own. By the way, I'm gonna sound very crusty throughout this video. I am hoarse, so bear with me. 
also i thought i'd let you guys know that i got some garbage bags with the bin as well another cool find that i stumbled over on amazon was this plunger and toilet brush set that was only 18.99 on amazon love how sleek and wonderful it is and that it comes as one set instead of me just buying two things of course i went with black just to tie in the overall look of the powder room be sure to check out the links to these products in the description. I have linked everything, including the link to my storefront. This one was a must-have product for me. I wanted a nice storage caddy that I could use to just have everything nice and compact in one area. Um, a place to probably stow away some sanitary napkins and a place to also hold my tissue. So I'll demonstrate a little bit more um, as we get further into the reveal as to why I went ahead and got this. But that's where you would hang the toilet paper and of course have it flow through that little section there also this is easily mounted and if you don't want to drill holes this one is renter friendly because it comes with an adhesive that you attach to the back and just stick it on the wall to mount it i also got some disposable sanitary napkin bags from Amazon as well just so my guests can use it to dispose of their napkins you just peel the top there to seal it seal the scent in and dispose of it in the bin I also grabbed a nice matte black storage box for the top of the toilet tank just to store some nice canisters that I also got from Amazon. Like I said, all the links are in the description, including the link to my Amazon storefront. I went with these canisters because of the nice antique gold covers to match back with the accent color that I'm using for the powder room. I got this jute rug from Amazon for the bathroom and it was disappointing because when it came it was way too big for the space so I had to pivot. I ran out to Jung Home Center in Portmore and picked up this one that I think could also work for the space. It has that, that nice jute texture as well so I'm going with that. Tat the truth guys, we're loving it or are we loving it? I know I love it, I absolutely love it, and I can't wait to show you how everything um, works well together in the space. But I think it's time we, you know, pack up on the installation, pack up on the hall, and get straight to the decorating portion of the video. Let's go. It's time I show you the powder room makeover officially. Take a look.
the big reveal and the wonderful changeover that I've done in my powder room it feels so warm so inviting so cozy and has so much personality and looks drastically different from what it looked like previously I have a few cool perks that I want to show you in the bathroom now that I have already showed you the full reveal so let's go take a look at that all right guys, so for my powder room makeover, there was one thing that was a must do for me and that was to install a cute little storage caddy for my female guests. So you know, sometimes people come over, they want to use the bathroom, they might be, you know, it might be their time of the month that they just want to freshen up for or they might be experiencing a bit of an accident and want to freshen up but you know, it's a little embarrassing for us females sometimes um, and it might make them uncomfortable to come ask you for a sanitary napkin so I wanted to make sure that was already readily available in my space for them to use without the shame and embarrassment of having to ask me of course you know my friends sometimes aren't ashamed to ask but if they are I don't want to make the situation more awkward for them so I have already done that put all the napkins in there, some liners and some tampons and the, of course, sanitary napkin bag that they can use when they access the powder room. Let's take a look at that. Another must do for me in the powder room was to add some q-tips and some toothpicks for my guests so you know somebody might be over they just had dinner with you or just want to come to the bathroom and freshen up or probably pick something from their teeth and I don't want them to always have to ask me for those things so I made sure to make it readily available All right, one of my favorite, favorite things that I did to the powder room was to swap out the faucet in here. I wanted something matte black, but when I stumbled over this faucet, I was screaming inside with excitement. I couldn't wait for it to come and have it installed, but you know, the excitement was short-lived. So it's beautiful, it works well, but for some strange reason, I have some issues in my powder room where like every pipe, literally every bathroom in the house gets adequate water pressure out of the pipes. But for my powder room, yeah, not so much. So when one of our family friends came in and installed the uh, pipe or the faucet in here, I was super excited for him to be done with it and turn it on because it's supposed to light up. So the cool feature of this faucet is that it turns blue when the water is cold, green when it's lukewarm, and red when it's hot. Now when we just turned it on, the water pressure came down very heavy for a split second and I saw the light and I just was gleaming with excitement and then it just left because the water pressure was way too low. It was too low of a stream of water to power up the lights. Another cool feature of this uh, faucet too is that it's hydro powered so it's not connected to any electric power source or anything the lights are literally powered by water coming through the faucet but it didn't work that way for me unfortunately because of the 
low pressure of the water in the pipe but I will still get to experience that because my plumber is supposed to come back and boost the pressure in the pipe he didn't make it here in time for me to do this video so I decided to just go ahead and do it I would still recommend you get this faucet if you are as in love with it as I am okay it's a very good faucet and it looks very dainty very chic I just didn't get the excitement of the lights but I promise I'll update you guys in a, another video once it's done so let's take a look at the pipe that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please subscribe guys and especially leave a comment i want to see your feedback i've been saying this through this entire video because i look forward to reading them it's so encouraging to see that you enjoy the things that i do and that you love my makeover the way that i clearly love it um, have a blessed and productive week. Don't forget to put God first in whatever you do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, babies.